Hello everyone, my name is Irene and I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Minnesota. I'm here today to present our work, Keeping Designers in the Loop, Communicating Inherent Algorithmic Trade-offs Across Multiple Objectives. Product design is a complex process that requires a diverse domain of knowledge. Designers who are leading the process need to understand users' goals and needs in order to design good products. When designing products and services that use artificial intelligence algorithms, designers often find it difficult to understand algorithms' capabilities and design with them to achieve different goals. On the other hand, algorithm developers often have expertise in understanding algorithm capabilities. However, they don't have good methods for sharing their knowledge to help the design process. One of these challenges in understanding algorithms for product design process is understanding the inherent trade-offs between different system criteria for different design goals. For example, in a risk assessment tool that is designed to aid judges' decision-making on whether detaining or releasing defendants, there are inherent algorithmic trade-offs between prediction accuracy and unfairness to different population groups. It is critical to understand such algorithmic trade-offs, as they not only impact the intended user experience, but also raise serious ethical concerns and might result in societal-level consequences. So, how can we better communicate inherent trade-offs in algorithms for different design goals and then different priorities in the product design process? To address this challenge, we proposed an approach for communicating inherent algorithmic trade-offs with two steps. First, for the specific algorithm, identify a set of design objectives and the corresponding system criteria in the algorithm. Then generate a family of models that can capture these trade-offs. Next, develop methods to communicate these trade-offs between models. The communication methods should allow designers and then users to explore the trade-offs and then hence help them select specific models that will align with their needs and goals. To demonstrate our concept, we applied and evaluated our approach with a case study in the context of recidivism prediction. We recreated the prediction tool using a data set from 2016 Based on previous literature's unfairness, we identified three design goals that guided our process to capture the inherent trade-offs in the algorithm. The first design goal is not falsely detain defendants who will not re-offend, since it is unfair to the defendants. This design goal corresponds to reducing false positives in the system criteria. The second design goal is not release defendants who will re-offend, because this might cause danger for the society. This goal corresponds to reducing false negatives in the system criteria. The third design goal is be fair to defendants across different demographic groups. This corresponds to the disparity in the system criteria, which is defined as disparity in false positive and then false negative rates between different demographic groups. For the first two design goals, we varied a classification threshold to capture the trade-offs between false positives. Predict defendants will re-offend, but the prediction is wrong. And then false negatives. Predict defendants will not re-offend, but the prediction is wrong. For the third design goal, we generated a set of parental optimal models to capture the trade-offs between prediction errors and then disparities between different demographic groups. For example, here is the parental curve for trade-offs between overall prediction errors and then disparities between different racial groups at a specific classification threshold. To communicate the trade-offs, we design an interactive visualization interface that will let users explore and then compare a set of models with different trade-offs. The control panel on the left side of the interface corresponds to the two types of trade-offs we identified and then wanted to communicate to users. 
The control bar allows users to select and adjust the system criteria in order to see how this might affect the prediction result. The results are presented in the right panel of the interface, where we had two alternative designs for visualizing the result. The matrix view presented here represents the results in the format of a confusion matrix. Each prediction category is presented in a separate quadrant of the matrix, and each classified defendant presented with one colored dot. We also present the summary of the key metrics of the model on the top of the result panel, such as accuracy and disparity. The text view displays the same set of information as the confusion matrix view, but with descriptive text. To understand whether our method actually helps people better comprehend and navigate the trade-offs or not, we conducted an online experiment with Amazon Mechanical Turk and then an interview study with domain expert. In the interest of time, I'm going to highlight four main findings from our evaluations. So please refer to our paper for details on our, on our study setup and then other findings. From our Mechanical Turk study, we found that both our interfaces improved participants' comprehension of algorithmic trade-offs. So with the matrix view, participants got 56% of answers correctly for questions on algorithmic trade-offs. And then with the text view, participants got 66% of the answers correctly. Both differences were significant compared to the condition without using any interactive interface. We also found that participants reported high average ratings on whether they think the interfaces help them identify models that represent their values. So on a seven point Lecker scale, participants rated 5.5 on average with the matrix view and then rated 5.6 on average with the text view. We also found that um, nearly half of the participants changed their perceived trust of algorithmic prediction after exploring with our interactive interfaces. Within the people who changed their perceived trust, there was a nearly even split between those who increased trust and then those who decreased trust. 22% um, of the participants reported they trust the algorithm more after exploring um, with our interactive interfaces, while 25% of the participants reported they trust the algorithm less after exploring the algorithm. So participants gained trust often because our interfaces educated them about the algorithm. However, seeing different prediction outcomes also made participants doubt the algorithm. As one participant commented, after learning more about the algorithm, it seems that the parameters can be adjusted to create almost any type of results desired by researchers. From our expert study, we found that our interfaces help make the ethical trade-offs in decision-making process transparent, also help create opportunities for users to express their perceptions of different misclassified cases with our interfaces. As one participant comment, it's up to the stakeholder to decide. They will say to me false positive is three times worse than false negative. So to summarize our work, we develop a method to explain trade-offs between multiple objectives in the algorithms. We also demonstrate our approach with a concrete case study and then evaluations that show our method is promising in helping designers and users navigate and manage algorithmic trade-offs. Last, we would like to thank um, National Science Foundation and JP Morgan for supporting this work, and then also our colleagues for help and feedback throughout this work. Thank you.